Hello everyone, my name is Jan Ruff. Um, I work for iRely and we're going to demonstrate how to import invoices or transactions, credit memos from a CSV file. Uh, so we're going to first go into our sales accounts receivable menu tree. You're going to then find the option called import transactions from CSV. <clears throat> You're going to take that option. In this particular screen we can download a template that we can use to get your data created. Um, we can then select the GL account number that we want to use for data conversion, if that's what you want. If this is going to be something beyond data conversion, then you can select the sales account that you would want to use during this import process. We're then going to select the file that we're going to do, and I'm going to, I have a small file that we're going to import today. So I've selected it, and we do have a couple different options you always, for this uh, transaction. You're going to do standard, and then I'm going to click the import, and you're going to get a progress, board, progress bar showing you its status. It shouldn't take too long, and then it'll come up, and then with an import log screen showing you the status of the transactions. We had seven successful transactions and zero failed, so that's good. In this particular log screen, you can then, um, if there was a failed or an error, you can get the event result, and it will tell you what the, the transaction or the nature of the, the error was. Once you close it, we can close that, and then you should immediately be able to see those transactions that you just imported in the invoice screen. So these seven here were the ones I did. I have the ability to put some bill of lading numbers, some different type of data that I can identify usually when I import it to make it more identifiable. Um, this automatically posted them, so I had the ability, I don't have to go through and post them individually. And that is how we successfully import transactions by using the import from CSV. Thanks.